You challenged me to watch a new anime every week, and this time we picked 86. Big, big thank you to the person that recommended this because holy shit, this show is juicy. 86 is set in a dystopian world telling the story of the Republic of San Magnolia, who in typical anime fashion declared war on their neighboring country. Sounds very Attack on Titan, but trust me, it's not the same. The plot revolves around the 86, citizens of the Republic that have been deemed to be non-humans by their government. They are ostracized, called pigs, and of course, for Forced to pilot the robots that are in the front lines of the war. I've been watching it on Crunchyroll. There is only 23 episodes available, so it's very low commitment. Here are the things that I liked and the things that I didn't. You already know I'm a huge ass sucker for good animation and saucy lore, and this thing has that in spades. The character designs, the color grading, everything is on point, and on top of that, the freaking soundtrack is killer, especially for the battle scenes. The character development in this series is also incredibly well done because we get to see the war from the perspectives of both the military leaders and the soldiers. Soldiers. Major Vladilena is the primary handler that we are introduced to who handles the squadron of the 86 soldier. She gets a first-hand look at the suffering of the troops, the lies that the government is willing to perpetuate, and the reality that war and discrimination come at a steep cost. I loved every single member of the Spearhead Squadron, Papa. Exceptional depiction of their camaraderie in tough times, and of course, they embody the motifs of the show. In terms of the cons, the major thing that I would point out is the fact that they have essential context both for the relationship between the soldiers and their feelings about the government after the credits roll. To me, that was a little bit of a nail, maybe because I'm just a dumbass and my attention span is fucking horrible. So as soon as I see the credits, I skip to the next episode. But then I missed essential context and plot devices that were set up the previous episode. I don't want to miss the important shit, so just put it in front of my eyes and let me enjoy it. Besides that, though, the show is a solid watch. Critics and fans both love it, so do I. I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars, and I think it's heavily underrated. Have you seen 86? Which other anime do you think I should watch next week? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're cool, you should definitely click this.